I was also told that I might have hypochondria, you know, not the regular kind of hypochondria, where you have a mosquito bite on your belly and you think you're pregnant. <laughs> but the type A kind of hypochondria, you know, which aff afflicts mostly artists. So there's a very high levels of anxiety. So you're always thinking, what are they thinking? What are they saying? Do they mean what they say? Do they say what they mean? Will they do what they say they'll do? What if they don't do what they say they'll do? What if they change their mind? Are they menopausal? And if they are, why are their hormones controlling my life? See, there are two groups, the hypochondriacs and the paranoids. But it's better to be in one of these groups than to be a woman artist in Delhi. <laughs> and you know, sometimes even when my tests show that I'm in perfect health, I still worry that I would have picked up an influence and that a few months down the line, my x-ray will look like somebody else's abstract art. <laughs> so you guys know I was overweight, right? So I had to see a dietitian for quite some time and I still have to watch what I eat. I look at muffins like a man looks at breasts. <laughs> so my dietitian says that nutrition is an art and she fully endorses the view that great art comes from great pain so she <laughs> come on I'm allowed to laugh too yeah <laughs> so you know she makes me exercise five times a week and eat dudhi and karela and moong rotis by the way moong rotis look like grayish green discs of roasted cement <laughs> It's exactly like eating cardboard. Every day I eat cardboard. Every day I tell myself I'm making great art. <laughs>